Hey, I'm sure you guys have probably heard that KISS thing, keep it simple, uh, silly, you know. Um, and I totally agree with that. You know, most self-defense techniques, the more complicated they are, the less likely they are to work. But you know, there's a limit, right? If you oversimplify it to where it doesn't work, that's no good. Oh, well, you know what? Screw a ham screw a nail, just use a hammer, and that'll keep it simple. Well, that's not right. That's you're not gonna drive a, a screw in with a hammer effectively. So same thing is true with dealing with bullies, you know. So right now, one of the things that's aggravating to me is that um, a lot of people are teaching, even at schools, uh, by experts, that bullying and meanness are pretty much the same thing, and that's wrong. You know, they're, bullying is mean, but not all meanness is bully, right? So if uh, somebody is in, in line and, and you're stepping on the back of their foot, um, like a little brother just to see you know, if they'll get annoyed with you, well, that's a mean, that's annoying even. Uh, but it's not bullying. Now, if I'm kicking the bottom of your foot, pulling your shoe off and see if I can get my friends to laugh at you, that's bullying. Because the uh, difference between being mean and being a bully is that bullying, what the motivation is to get some kind of peer approval or maybe get your friends to, um, to be scared of you or some kind of response from the peers. And if you understand the motivation of why someone's assaulting you or attacking you or harassing you, you have a much better chance of de-escalating or defusing it. Whereas if you treat every, every kind of attack like it's driven by the same um, forces, you're gonna be ineffective a lot of time. So I uh, recommend you guys keep it simple, but listen carefully to lessons on bullying that we offer because they're gonna give you some distinctions that may not be available and some of the other things you've heard.